Good afternoon. I am delighted to join you today for your 2022 National Policy Institute. I want to thank all of the public health and mental health providers, your staff, and by extension your families for the very difficult work you've been doing for more than two years, supporting the American people through the COVID-19 pandemic. You have my personal gratitude and that of the entire United States Department of Health and Human Services. COVID-19 has been by far the biggest public health challenge our nation and the world has seen in more than 100 years. It has impacted our health, our families, our schools, our businesses, our healthcare system, and local, state, and federal government. One important lesson of the pandemic is that we are all truly interconnected, and we need to ensure that a healthier future includes eliminating health disparities and promoting health equity. An area of interconnection that I would like to emphasize is mental health and public health. I have experience in this area. First as the physician general and then as the secretary of health for Pennsylvania. And now I am bringing that expertise to my role as the assistant secretary for health, building off methods that I used at the state level, such as prevention efforts, opioid stewardship, such as educating medical students, and medical professionals, rescue efforts with the life-saving medicine naloxone, and expanding treatment, particularly medication for opioid use disorder. Our country faces an unprecedented mental health crisis among people of all ages and backgrounds. Communities of color are disproportionately undertreated, even as their burden of mental illness has continued to rise. Even before the pandemic, rates of depression and anxiety were increasing. And the grief, trauma, and physical isolation of the last two years have driven Americans to the breaking point. With the nation's mental health and substance use disorder needs squarely in focus, last year, Secretary Becerra established a new Behavioral Health Coordinating Council, or the BHCC. The Assistant Secretary for Mental Health and Substance Use, Dr. Miriam Delphin Rittman and I, serve as the co-chairs for this coordinating body, which is composed of senior leadership from across the department. This is a great example of how the department is bringing public health and mental health together. The BHCC's primary goal is to facilitate collaborative, innovative, transparent, equitable, and action-oriented approaches to addressing the HHS behavioral health agenda. We are now at a pivotal point in transforming behavioral health care. At the State of the Union on March 1st, 2022, President Biden announced a bold vision to prevent and treat mental health and substance use disorders. At HHS, we are bringing together public health and mental health to implement this vision for health transformation. We are looking to integrate the full spectrum of behavioral health care into health care services, social services, and early childhood systems to ensure all people have equitable access to evidence-based, culturally appropriate, person-centered care. We must ensure that public health authorities have the resources, workforce, and IT capabilities that are needed to protect the health of people in the United States and worldwide. When we discuss capacity building for and preparedness of the healthcare workforce, considerations for services to support mental well being cannot be overlooked. Increasing mental health services with particular focus on the adequate number of personnel and ensuring required professional skills are areas of great need. A strong focus on community mental health programs and integration with primary care clinics and community services is key to reaching a larger portion of populations in eliminating inequalities. It is important to highlight the need for communication strategies that convey culturally relevant, accessible, and evidence-based information on mental health. Communication approaches that leverage research findings help facilitate greater understanding of mental health prevention and treatment, including the continuum of care 
of mental health wellness, and they are necessary for optimal global mental health outcomes. In addition to a whole of society approach to promote, protect, and care for mental health, the dedication of our behavioral and public health workers has shown through during this pandemic. My message today is that it is important to remember your own mental health. Realize when you need a break and when you're giving too much of you can only help others if you are healthy too. Please remember to take care of yourselves and always stay connected, stay informed, and stay safe.